This is a topic that we are going to discuss that is development of mobile technology based on Java language. These are the topics that we will be covering in our presentation. First one is mobile phone history. Second one is about three generations of mobile phone development. Third one is technology limitations for mobile phones. Next one is history of Java language. How Java relates to mobile technology. Why use Java in many mobile applications. Java 2 micro edition that is J2ME. And next one is games. Use of Java in game development. Example of game canvas class used. Sample coding and uh, location based games and some of the famous games played in mobile phones GPS that is global positioning system movie booking system architecture and uh, Java servlet technology you can get some idea about Bluetooth and some other mobile applications mobile application development under flashlight and JME As a first step in our presentation, let's talk about the mobile phone history. Earlier, there were no mobile phones, but the concept was there. They have used two-way radios in taxi cabs, police cruisers, ambulance, and etc. In this is the users were not enabled to dial the number and take a call. The users were known as mobilers. Earlier, the phone couldn't carry by hand, instead they were installed in vehicles. But the next version which used the cigarette lighter plug able to carry. The phone was called bad phones. First fully automatic system that is MTA was developed by the Ericsson in 1956. The phone weighed about 40 kilograms because of the equipment used in the manufacture of the phone. The next version was weighed about 90 kilograms because of the use of transistors. This phone used DTMA signaling. Then hexagonal cells were used. The picture shows a cell tower they have used which is able to transmit a received in three directions. Even though the mobile technology was undeveloped until electronics were developed in 1960. Mobile phone development can be divided into three generations that is first generation, second generation and third generation. In this slide we are going to talk about the first generation of mobile phones. Mobile phones began to improve with cellular phones based on cellular networks. Cellular network is a network made up of a number of radio cells, each cell by a fixed transmitter. The transmission used analog signaling. Let's move to the next slide and we'll see the second generation of mobile phones. The second generation is started in 1990. The feature used in second generation mobile phone is GSM, that is Global System for Mobile Communication. New releases of GSM are GPRS, that is General Packet Radio Service, which is released in 1997, and EDEG, Enhanced Data Rate for GSM Evolution. In the second generation, the size of the phone was reduced, weight about 100 gram to 200 grams. This was possible enough technology improvement as advanced batteries and more energy efficient electronics. The new feature is in the second generation is SMS that is short message system and there were many other features that were not used in first generation. In this slide we are going to talk about the third generation of mobile phones. The meaning of 3G has been standardized in the IMT 2000 standardization processing. There are two rates that is indoor and outdoor. Indoor maximum data rate is 2 megabits per second and outdoor maximum data rate is 384 kilobits per second. The commercial 3G network launched in October in year 2001 technology used in third generation was WCDMA. Likewise, there are so many technologies embedded in new mobile phones to satisfy mobile phone users.
let's talk about the technology limitations for mobile phone development first one is battery power in mobile phones there is limited power since the battery is used therefore every performance of the mobile we have to consider about the power the battery can supply and second one is size of the interfaces the phone display is limited when creating applications size of the interfaces used plays a major role because of the content must be visible and appropriate and next one is operating systems operating system must be appropriate to technologies and user friendly and the other one is signaling methods and network coverage for the further development of mobile technology java language had a major contribution from this slide onwards we look at the contribution of java language components as a start let's talk about the java history java language was originally developed by james goslin at sun microsystems and released in 1995 derived much of c and c++ syntaxes the main feature in java is its platform independent that is java application can compile to bytecode and that can run on any jvm regardless of the computer architecture versions of j2 are j2 double e that is targeted enterprises application next one is j2 me it is applied for mobile applications in this slide let's see how java relates to mobile technology over the time java 2 me platform has been divided into two basic configurations one is to fix more mobile devices and the other one to be targeted towards more capable mobile devices like smartphones and desktop boxes the configuration target in resources contains devices like mobile phones is called connected limited device configuration that is cldc specially designed to meet the needs for a java platform to run devices with limited memory processing power and graphical capabilities why did a tipped example is to combine a cldc with mobile information device provide a complete java application in one do you know why we use java in many mobile applications let's see it in this slide Java helps to create highly advanced and powerful applications and Java 2 Micro Edition that is J2ME in mobile phones provide enhanced security to users and also Java programs can be run on any platform 